Let me bring in Nationals MP and former Resources Minister Keith Pitt, a proud Queenslander, happens to be in Adelaide like me. Hey, Here we flesh. are. Here we are in the flesh in Adelaide. And given that you and I talk so often about this nation's energy mess, the so-called transition to renewables, it's very important to be here in South Australia because no other state has as much renewable energy. No other state has completely dismantled all of its baseload generation. Big Petri dish. Yeah, yeah, so this is the experiment. This is where Australia is heading, yet this has the most expensive electricity in the nation. Well, imagine that. <laughs> you build things which are unreliable and it costs you more money. Uh, and it's not only me saying it and others, Chris. You've only going to have to go and look at the AMO forecast for this summer. And it actually says, in very polite language, I have to say, that South Australia and Victoria won't meet reliability standards this summer. Now, that is code for the lights will go out. And here in South Australia, how are you trying to keep them on? Well, great big banks of diesel generators. Hundreds of millions of dollars worth. Such a crucial point. So South Australia's got the highest penetration of renewables, way ahead of the other states, and the most expensive power, and the least, least reliable power. Warnings about running into blackouts this summer. And then, yeah, the irony is, as you say, they've spent hundreds of millions of dollars putting in diesel generators to back the joint up when that happens. That's it. And this is the first class case. Yeah. Uh, and who'd have thought it? Yeah. And it's the first state so far to have a statewide blackout because of this. Burning diesel's better for the environment, Chris. Who knew? It's incredible. Now, uh, also on this renewables transition, we've spoken before about some of the fires starting right around the country, lithium battery fires. Have a look at this vision. This is the latest fire overnight in Sydney. It was at Potts Point, where in a hostel, these blokes were in the laundry. Someone was recharging an e-bike there or whatever. Look what happens. Just frightening. Wow. Uh, they got back there and, uh, and tried to put out the fire with a extinguisher and the fire brigade came along and evacuated everyone. But this is just another example, Keith, of a growing problem. Well, very, very lucky. And the first thing for all of your viewers, go and have a look at the New South Wales Fire Service advice. And it actually says that lithium-ion batteries are now the greatest rising risk of fires in New South Wales. They give advice on how to make sure that, you know, you, you minimise the risk of these things catching on fire. But we always knew this was a problem. And can you imagine in 10, 20, 30 years' time when they're in landfill, they haven't been disposed of properly, they still have the potential to burn, and then you get impacts like this. Now, they're very fortunate to get out of that. That could have burnt the building down in its entirety. Well, this is a problem. How, how are we going to deal with this? Uh, it, did, did, uh, we don't really want more laws and more nanny state rules, but do we need We're greater awareness? To, I mean, how do we stop these fights? This is going to prove deadly at some stage. Uh, absolutely. And you will get more regulation and there'll be changes to the building code. In fact, from, from when this started a number of years ago to now, there has been some changes, uh, you know, about fireproof backing where you install these things. But just, just my view, I wouldn't put one in my house. I, re I really wouldn't. Yeah, well, and certainly don't leave uh, items charging Correct. overnight while Take you're advice. asleep because you're, you're taking a risk. It is. Thanks for joining us, Keith. Enjoy Adelaide. Great to be with you.